Ramya. Uh, I'm the product owner for Hot's Tasking Manager. Uh, so for those of you who are uh, unfamiliar with Hot, uh, Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team, or in short, Hot OSM, it's an uh, international uh, nonprofit registered in DC. They are focused on humanitarian response uh, through open mapping solutions. So uh, all the work that we do uh, is centered around OpenStreetMap. So that forms the crux of uh, all the tools or, or any like mapping projects that we run. Uh, and one of the uh, flagship tools we have at Hot is Tasking Manager. Uh, it's a tool for organized editing on uh, OSM. Uh, of course, this talk is not going to be a deep dive on the uh, tool, like how it functions and all that. So it's just giving an overview here. Uh, so you could access the tool at task.hotosm.org. Uh, this tool is widely used by uh, humanitarian organizations like uh, Red Cross, um, uh, MSF, Missing Maps, uh, by educational institutions, uh, and also by local OSM communities. Uh, and by uh, uh, companies that have their uh, own uh, mapping teams uh, for generating data on OSM. Um, the tool is free to use. Uh, anyone with the OSM uh, login will be able to register themselves on Tasking Manager and start contributing to OSM. Uh, the, um, the source code is available on GitHub for anyone to review and contribute. Um, Tasking Manager has a history of about uh, 10 years. Uh, so since uh, 2012, uh, we have been uh, hosting multiple uh, OSM remote mapping projects, and we have uh, over 11,000 plus uh, projects mapping, OSM mapping projects hosted on Tasking Manager. And these are spread across 150 plus uh, countries, uh, uh, to be precise, 158 countries. And uh, this has been done by over 200 plus uh, organizations. Uh, just quickly summarizing those. Uh, so this data uh, come from uh, this website called uh, Humanitarian Stats. Uh, just uh, put the link there as a source. Uh, so I think like uh, this, this is at least like a month old. Um, so uh, by now, like it's close to 12,000 projects uh, at 158 countries. Uh, we have about 300,000 mappers, uh, OSM uh, mappers who have contributed data to OSM uh, through uh, HOTS mapping projects. And together they have contributed to over uh, 100 million buildings and 2 million kilometers of highways on OSM. And the number of organizations uh, who have registered on Tasking Manager uh, to create mapping projects have been growing incrementally over the years. Uh, though the concept of organization was brought very recently, uh, we have been able to backtrack and provide this data. Um, so the major milestone that Tasking Manager had last was the version 4 launch. Uh, that was sometime in uh, May, May 2020, uh, three years back. Um, so uh, with the uh, the version four was a, a huge lift on the front end side uh, from whatever was available on version three. Uh, we did a extensive user experience uh, research uh, to understand what needs to be improved um, for better mapping workflows and validation workflows. Uh, we introduced the uh, idea of teams, mapping teams, validation teams, um, and organizations registering themselves on Tasking Manager. Uh, 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 but after the version 4 launch for about a year, uh, we, uh, we were introducing features around statistics to understand more, about, understand more about the impact we create for organizations for users. But after the uh, one year uh, improvements, uh, the tool entered into maintenance mode. Um, it was mostly like bug fixes uh, or like light uh, feature enhancements. Uh, but recently, uh, like starting uh, 2022, in the early part of 2022, we have been involved with this organization called KLN. Kathmandu Living Labs. Uh, it's a civic tech organization based in uh, Kathmandu, Nepal. Uh, they have been working with us to support the uh, maintenance of Tasking Manager. Uh, but it, it's, it's again like mostly um, at the um, um, bug fixes and feature enhancement level. We have not started implementing any uh, new features yet, uh, but they have been doing this for over a year now. And uh, now we have formed a small internal team within HOT, a team of uh, three developers, uh, the front end, back end. Uh, the DevOps side, who work alongside with the KLL team. Um, and um, we, we don't have a complete roadmap yet, uh, but uh, we are committed to investing more time and effort for the development of Tasking Manager. Um, but how do we do this? Um, so uh, we need more support from the community uh, to continue uh, the development around Tasking Manager uh, uh, in the form of like code development or uh, help us uh, through uh, research on the user experience design. Uh, in order to identify like what streams of work that the community could support us, uh, we ran a user uh, input exercise at the beginning of this year. Uh, this ran for like more than like two to three months. And uh, this was a combination of uh, 
various activities. So there was an in-person workshop that was held at the state of the Mapesia. And then we also circulated a Google form through which we gathered inputs about the pain points that are in the tasking manager and what could be the potential uh, solutions, ideas that people have to solve, to address these pain points. And what is the sort of like wish list they ha have around tasking manager. Uh, so it was a huge exercise uh, and that ran for about like uh, one quarter, uh, like for about two to three months. Um, and there were some common themes we could identify uh, as part of this exercise. Uh, if you'd like to have a, a view of uh, all the inputs that we gather, uh, it's available on this, on a mirror board uh, in the bit.ly link that I provided here. Uh, so these are like some common themes uh, that we identified uh, from across this uh, user input gathering exercise. These are very high level themes. Uh, it, uh, it, without going to the nitty gritty, uh, just like um, common things or like wish list that people want to see within tasking manager. Um, starting with the integration across tools. Uh, there was lots of appreciation for having uh, uh, OSM char uh, integration, but the, uh, people also wanted uh, some sort of like improvements and integrating OSM char uh, across uh, different workflows. Um, so uh, we still have to figure out how to do that. We have Willie here, so we could use that time to figure out that. And uh, there was also there were also ideas about integrating map relay within the validation workflow. And Meta team is also helping us integrate uh, the latest version of Rapid. Um, uh, there could also be an option to integrate Mapillary, which came as, uh, came came up in the wish list uh, from the mappers. There could be like some more ideas around this. Uh, we could uh, catch up over this. Uh, so the uh, the other thing was enriching non spatial information. Uh, so for now, we are hosting multiple remote mapping projects through which people uh, add features, base map features like buildings, highways, land use areas. Uh, but tasking manager could be used for something beyond that, not just ma mapping features, for, uh, but for adding feature attributes. Uh, uh, and this could be uh, using a, a combination of like different resources available within the uh, ecosystem, uh, uh, like the street view imagery uh, or... Uh, uh, um, it could be um, um, also from um, the external data sets that, that are integrated for specific mapping projects. Uh, so uh, not just limiting ourselves to mapping projects, but uh, going something beyond the mapping projects and enriching the map data with local information. And that brings us also to the theme of localized remote mapping, which means we let the remote mappers. So tasking manager is centered around remote mapping projects. Uh, and then we have a field mapping tasking manager, which Rob spoke about yesterday. Uh, it's still under development. Um, how do, if we uh, imagine this, like connecting the remote mappers talk directly to the field mappers so that they add certain feature to OSM with a certain level of confidence. Uh, and this should happen like uh, in near real time. And uh, we could connect the uh, web application tasking manager uh, to mobile applications. Um, maybe like connect the mapping projects and tasking manager to field mapping, field mapping tasking manager. Or it could also be uh, with other mobile apps like uh, Everydoor or organic maps. Uh, the, there were like uh, uh, lots of thoughts around like how, uh, how remote mappers could interact directly with the local OSM community and use this information uh, to uh, enrich data on OSM. And uh, this has been um, a burning topic for us, which is this data quality monitoring. So we generate, we bring a lot of beginner mappers to OpenStreetMap uh, through Hot Tasking Manager. And uh, you know, the volume of data that we have been adding over the years, it's uh, more than like 100 million buildings and uh, million of kilometers of highways. But how do we ensure we are generating good quality data? Of course, like we have a validation uh, step integrated in the workflow, uh, but that should also be a way uh, for the project managers uh, or people who are actively involved in the project uh, to keep a tab on the uh, quality of data that is generated using uh, each of this mapping project. Uh, so uh, we have a, a small proof of concept that's running within HOT uh, to monitor uh, quality at the feature level, um, uh, which for which we'll be having um, a birds of feather session uh, later today. Uh, mm -hmm. But we would also want to see if there are like other ideas uh, that uh, people have around uh, real-time data quality monitoring directly within Tasking Manager. Uh, we were also able to generate uh, some real-time reports for the uh, real-time data quality reports for the recent Turkey uh, earthquake activation. Uh, we want to see how do how we could like carry forward this uh, uh, practice of better data quality uh, for the uh, mapping projects that are hosted on Tasking Manager. Uh, 
Next is this multiple verification. Uh, so this idea uh, is very interesting, like similar to what we have with MapSwipe, um, uh, where multiple people uh, provide some sort of like confidence score about uh, the existence of a certain feature. Uh, there was this uh, uh, one idea uh, uh, which mentioned uh, if people could give sort of like confidence score uh, for, uh, uh, for the um, quality of a particular feature that's mapped using Tasking Manager. Um, yeah, uh, we need some more brainstorming around this, uh, but this also uh, ensures that's better a uh, data quality. Uh, uh, how do we integrate with this within Tasking Manager? Uh, should this happen through MapSwipe? or uh, should it uh, happen directly within the uh, tasking manager without the use of external tool, uh, subject to discussion. Um, and the other topic is around more internal communication possibilities directly within the tool. So uh, there are options for the project managers or the mappers uh, to communicate uh, um, uh, through mails, uh, but it's not it's not real time. So someone has to send, uh, the project manager sends out uh, uh, a large scale um, uh, message sort of like email through the tasking manager, but there are chances that people are noticing. Uh, so uh, like uh, internal chat setup and later this information uh, could be uh, used to uh, integrate uh, some sort of like uh, um, language models uh, using which uh, we could uh, improvise the communication between the mappers and also the uh, project managers, the validators. Uh, yeah, this has been um, a constant uh, a feature request uh, coming up uh, since uh, we uh, started investing more uh, time and energy into tasking manager in the recent times. Uh, we were also thinking about like that's something like we could do with the chat GPT integration. Uh, yeah, let's see. And the final one is AI assisted mapping. Uh, not just the uh, mapping work, uh, the editors, uh, the rapid, of course, the rapid is uh, going to bring in uh, uh, the um, AI integration uh, for feature deduction. Uh, but we are also thinking about uh, more AI, AI integration uh, in the different workflows. This could be the difficulty estimate for a task um, so that the validators are able to uh, better understand like what kind of features could be mapped and what kind of mappers could be involved in a specific project. Uh, it could be about that or it could be about completeness or a gap estimate uh, for a specific uh, mapping project. Um, yeah, uh, with the AI assisted mapping, uh, the possibilities are endless. Um, so yeah, these are the uh, common themes uh, that we have uh, identified uh, so far uh, from all the input gathering exercise. Now, uh, these have not been broken down into uh, smaller pieces. Uh, depending on the interest that we uh, receive from the community uh, around uh, the development process uh, or uh, conducting uh, user research, uh, we'll be able to uh, see identify like granular tasks around each of these themes um, and see uh, how we go forward with it. Uh, so in general, the guiding principles uh, for uh, any software development work that we do at heart uh, is uh, we do open source development and we uh, collaborate uh, with the wider community um, and it's uh, always uh, people-centered. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, we are also going to be running, running a box session um, after this uh, talk, like around 3 p.m. Uh, one of my colleagues, Emmy, uh, will be talking about uh, near real-time data monitoring uh, with Tasking Manager. Uh, this involves uh, um, a piece of software called uh, Underpass, uh, uh, which is used for, uh, uh, in which we are maintaining a, almost a copy of the OSM data and uh, uh, regularly uh, monitoring the quality of uh, each feature. Yeah. Um, and we are also organizing uh, monthly working group meetings uh, and uh, all our code is available on GitHub. Uh, so uh, we would like for more people uh, to join us uh, in these working group meetings uh, and uh, help us uh, with the development of tasking management.